Hey everybody, and thank you for joining us today for this five minute demo all about Windows Defender Exploit Guard. This is one of the easiest ways to keep your endpoints and end users secure on Windows 10 by blocking malicious macros. Today, we have Corey Potterbaum, one of our Microsoft consultants, here to demo the configuration and a simulated attack for us. Thanks, Nick. Windows Defender Exploit Guard is a set of intrusion prevention capabilities that shipped with Windows 10 1709 and later. The four components of Windows Defender Exploit Guard are designed to lock down the device against a wide variety of attack vectors and block behaviors commonly used in malware attacks, while enabling enterprises to balance their security risk and productivity requirements. Exploit Guard can be configured with Group Policy, Configuration Manager, and MDM tools such as Intune. Today we'll be showing you how to configure these settings with Intune. So the first step is to open your Azure Intune console and click on Device Configuration, Profiles, Create Profile. We'll, of course, give it a name. The platform will be Windows 10 and later, and the profile type will be Endpoint Protection. I created this profile already to make it simpler for the demo, and it is right here, Win 10 Endpoint Protection. But if we dig into the properties, uh, you can see here that the node for Windows Defender Exploit Guard has 19 settings available, and we've configured 12 of them. Uh, the demo today will be centered around attack surface reduction and the settings that are available for that. The settings for attack surface reduction are broken down into several available rules to reduce the attack surface on your managed devices. You can utilize these settings to block the running of suspicious executables in macros, scripts, and emails. Each specific setting listed can either be not configured, which is off, enabled, or set to audit only. Configuring a setting to audit only will not block the suspicious executable, but will instead log what would have happened to the Windows Event Log and the Windows Defender Security Center. At the very minimum, we recommend configuring these settings to audit only so you have visibility into the items that may be blocked in your environment. Additional decisions around which specific settings should be enabled will be determined by your business use cases. But typically organizations can enable all the settings for attack surface reduction with a minimal impact to the productivity of their users. As you can see here, our demo policy is set to block on all available attack surface reduction settings. But uh, after the profile is configured, then you'll OK through the boxes, and you'll be able to assign it to your groups. Uh, you can assign it to all users and all devices, all devices, all users, or any type of group that you set up with users or devices within it. To demonstrate the effectiveness of these settings, we have a demo workstation that does not have any attack surface reduction policies applied to it. So this is the demo machine. We have a demo folder with this text file in it, and you can see that it simply just says this is a text file. But we have a sample file here from Microsoft that has a malicious macro tied to it. So if we open that up, and we enable the macro content, you can see that our files are now encrypted. And if we go back to the demo folder, you can see that test safe file.txt is now encrypted. So now if we apply a checkpoint on our VM that has exploit guard enabled, you can see the behavior of what that looks like. This will just take a moment to save the snapshot and apply our previous checkpoint. And we sign in. You can see it's the same exact files here. We got the test file safe. And if we open that same document with the same malicious macro in it and we enable the content you can see that office has blocked this 
So exploit guard is one of the simplest solutions that you can implement in Windows 10 to stop malicious activities from running on your workstations. And what we covered today is just scratching the surface of what Windows Defender exploit guard can protect against. And obviously, Vertiva is well versed in all Windows 10 security solutions, and we can assist with implementing these items for your environment. Thank you, Corey. That's it for now. For more information about Windows Defender Exploit Guard, Windows 10, or your Microsoft environment in general, please visit us at www.vertiva.com or email us at infovertiva.com. Thanks, everyone.